Hi, Mike McCormick here talking about Philip Glass's String Quartet No. 2 company from 1983. Is there a more immediately recognisable composer than Philip Glass? Um, listening to him for years and I think I can recognise his work within 15-20 within seconds of hearing him uh, hearing a piece of music by him. And I can't think of another can't think of another artist or another writer, maybe a writer, maybe Beckett now that I think of it, that is, whose work is so immediately recognisable. But here we are in company, uh, we're in this one of those ten minute dreamscapes, one of those circular recurring places, one of those concentric places that Philip Glass conjures up. Uh, all our anxieties, all our fears, refining rising higher and higher until they reach a kind of a note that's as defiant as it is fearful um, and the, you come away from the piece wondering is it, a, is it a prayer for company? Is it a cry for company? I don't know, like all great works of art it will support more questions, as many questions as, as answers. Um, I keep thinking, as I was listening to it today and listening to it last night, I kept thinking of all the people in who were forced into isolation by this recent pandemic. Three months of there are people who have been on their own for three months uh, in cocooning and quarantining and that. And um, I don't know how this relates to that, but that was what crossed my mind as I was as I was thinking about them. What noises do they hear? What sounds do they hear? What airs and what melodies 